Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at the Yishin E010 uh, quadcopter. Uh, it's called, it's like a mini whoop uh, knockoff. Um, getting, getting popular for indoor flying. A lot of people are modding these and putting FPV cameras on them. Um, and so I will be doing that, not in this video, but I'll be doing that and then trying that to fly around the house. It'll be my first FPV quadcopter. Uh, we're just going to do an unboxing, see what's in the package, do a little test flying. Uh, to see what we can expect um, and give a little pros and cons on it at the end. So it comes in two colors, red and green. Opted for the green version. Um, I just like it a little bit better. It runs on 2.4 gigahertz, so wireless. Uh, and does flips, has a blue and red light, six axis gyro. CF mode, um, they call it carefree mode for headless mode and one press on mic return it doesn't have gps so this is just going to be using the headless mode and try to come uh, directly back from the location where it thinks it took off from so it will be dependent on how well this works and then the high and low uh, speeds for beginner and like intermediate so taking a look they do give you extra props a whole extra set so that's nice uh, glad that companies do that with this, uh, it has built into its frame just prop guards built around. I wouldn't try clipping. You can clip these off. I wouldn't do it. It's just uh, it's nice for indoor flying, bounce off of things. You shouldn't really have to worry about damage in the quad. Um, it can take quite a bit of abuse. Shell pops off by a pin there and a pin over on this side, and then you can just pop that off um, and then I'll be mounting the FPV camera on top of that. Uh, turn it over, real simple, brush motors. Uh, the battery they give you, 3.7 volt, 150 milliamp, 30C, one cell battery. So pretty nice. We'll see how long this uh, flies for. I think they say five minutes. So we'll see. And then um, I'll probably get a whole bunch of these so I can just fly, fly all day, especially if I'm doing the FPV. Um, That'll eat through the battery pretty fast. Take a look at the controller. Now this is uh, forward and back trim, and then your left and right trim over here. The instruction manual says you can pop the throttles in for different rates. You can't. Um, rates, if you, if you hold this, it'll go to two beeps for a higher rate, and then hold it again, one beep for the lower rate. Uh, down here, uh, the right button is for the carefree or headless mode, and then when that's pressed, the left button does the one turn home. After you click this and you take off, or it'll come right back to you, uh, as long as the headless mode is working fine. Anytime you take off after that, it'll keep going back to in that direction, so you need to turn headless mode off um, to cancel that, and then you can begin flying again normally. When headless mode's on, it's going to flash the lights, um, so you'll know that it's in headless mode, so we can take a look at that. The transmitter doesn't come with batteries, so you just need to provide two AA batteries for your own, and then this pops back on and off pretty nicely. No screw came with it, and no, not once needed, so just pop in and off, and uh, pretty easy, so that's nice that you don't have to have a, an annoying screw for that. Uh, extra set of prop or props um, probably won't need these but it's, it's nice that they include them just in case uh, the instructions they have an English one which has also Chinese and then Dutch um, so looking at the English manual uh, I didn't find it 100% true so this one says trimming start button this is how you do your flips um, so it's there, nice pictures and stuff, it's just not fully accurate, but it is nice that it's at least readable, it gives you an idea. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and fly this around in the basement, and, and then we'll come back and see if, uh, my thoughts on it. Okay, so to kick this off, we just simply slide that in, the lights come on waiting for the bind, so a blue light and a red light. Turn the controller on, up, down is how, you sh is how it should bind, it was already up, so and then just down. Um, to configure the gyro, both sticks down, bottom right, bottom left, sorry, and 
they'll flash. I know it's hard to see in the light, um, but they'll flash. Do this on a level surface. So I'll just redo that now that's on the ground. Make sure it's set to fly. Turn on our timer. Uh, they say that the battery takes um, 30 to 50 minutes. It took me 19 minutes just plugged into my computer to charge and be ready to go. Um, so here's the low mode, just full pitch left, full pitch forward, full pitch back. Hold the left or left button on the top up here. Sorry, not watching this either. Um, you get the double beep and then you're in advanced mode so it goes a lot quicker. I like to fly definitely inside. I'd take this outside probably in, in a no breeze, very little breeze and do that. Um, I have noticed I've had to trim this a little bit every time I fly it. Um, but then it does pretty good and it can fly really well for just going really slow and have fun indoors. I think this could be a nice a nice trainer for somebody because you can bounce off the walls and not really have to worry as much. Uh, flips, hold the right bumper and then just go in the, the direction you want. But you, uh, sideways I didn't have to give it much more more air or more power. So it does, it does nice Nice type flips. So that, that is nice. I do like that. Uh, headless mode, if you hold that bottom left button on the right side. And um, I do notice throttle. Yeah, sorry, my cat likes these too. If you hold the throttle, um, it's kind of touchy, so it will shoot up pretty pretty uh, easy. Not as twitchy as like a, like a nano would or something, but it, it's harder to, for me to just hover. Um, but headless mode, hitting that button, you see it, the lights will flash, and now it should be anything backwards. It's back, anything forwards, forward, and so forth. So it's facing us right now, and still forwards, forward. If I hit the one key uh, home, uh, it should come directly back towards us. So let me get some air so we can see this. I'll hit that button, and it flies back towards me. And it crashed. Um, hitting that didn't just cancel it. And so now I have to turn it off headless mode. Hopefully it will. It shouldn't be dead. So put it down, we'll see. It is not, not turning off. Last night when I was doing this, it would turn off fine for headless mode. Um, it is not right now. Not why, not sure, so I'm gonna turn it off. Turn the controller back on, bind it, and now we're now we're good again. So that's unfortunate. Last night it didn't do that when I was testing this out. Um, I just wouldn't do the one turn, one key return. You should be able to go into headless mode, no problem. Fly around and then uh, turn it back off, no problem, right there. Um, does some nice little, so here's yaw um, in normal rate. Let's see if I can keep that in the camera for you guys. And then if I do a higher rate, it does speed up the yaw some, go back to lower rate. Nice, just slow for people to fly inside. Uh, I need to keep it on lower rate because I can't do this on high. I'm not that good of a flyer. Uh, outdoors, I'm, I feel I'm okay, but indoors, not so much. Cat really, really likes these. Uh, like the nanos, but this one he's going crazy. Drop it, and he'll shoot up. So I have the timer going. I'll let you guys know how um, how much time you got. You can do some little funnels. You can speed that up, a higher rate. You can do tighter, faster funnels. Um, just a little harder. But all in all, great quadcopter. Um, definitely give this to a kid. I'll let my son fly it um, when I'm done. Maybe let him try the FPV, but um, since it's so cheap, $22 on Amazon, I'll have the link uh, for it 
in the description. Um, real nice. I think it's a $20, $25 camera you can put on top of it too. Uh, I'm going to try not to solder directly to it all. See if I can just uh, solder another plug into it and then plug the camera into the plug so I can use that camera on other things. So we are getting the um, low battery flash. Just a real nice soft flash. Uh, I'm not going to run it further. I know other people try going all the way until it forces landing. I don't want to ruin it because I like this. Um, so five minutes, uh, 15 seconds for that roughly. So not, not too bad. Um, pretty good flyer. So we'll go ahead and stop and look at the bench and see what I think. Okay, coming back. Looks like I did forget to put the charger into the box, back into the box so to show you guys. Uh, this is what you get for a charger, so just plug that into uh, your computer or whatever USB charger, phone charger thing you have um, to charge that. It took me, like I said, 19 minutes or so, so it just depends. Expect 30 to 50 though, probably around 30. So flight time, not bad, just over 5 minutes. It's going to be less once I do the FPV onto it. A um, little bit of crashes on the ground. No real damage. There's some hair from the animals in the carpet, but everybody's a nice little quadcopter. I really like the the frame having these guards on them, uh, so you can just bounce it around the house. So that's that's really nice. Like I said, I would give this. Well, it's a, it'd be a great gift for uh, kids, grandkids, um, and I'll let definitely let my eight year old fly this around and and have fun with it. Uh, overall, really pleased. Um, it's a nice little fun fun quadcopter and so definitely thumbs up cons um not not really too many i mean you can be picky and wish you had more batteries or anything but um not not too bad and uh enjoy it uh thanks for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, we'll be putting out more videos um as i get more quadcopters in hopefully they go along better as i start doing this um i do have some more coming i'm gonna do and then some older ones uh, that I have that I just, uh, you know, just to do more reviews. So, thanks for watching.